Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Shimmy. It's, cake. It's the cheat day wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> that was shake and wiggle together. The schwiggle. Okay, like I'll, I'll do mine later. Okay. Now, we are trying a new cereal this morning, and I have to go downstairs to get it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm coming back up. Okay. <laughs> Those are funny stairs. I didn't know we had them then. Me neither. They're new. Yeah. They appeared like magic. Oh. Okay, so we're trying new cereal. Thank you to an awesome subscriber, Melissa. She sent us oh, yeah. this stuff. This is Special K Pumpkin Spice Crunch. Wow. It sounds so good. It's got nutmeg, allspice, ginger, cinnamon clusters. Um, we didn't even know that there was a Special K Pumpkin Spice edition, so no. that's cool. And we didn't know that Life had a Special K, I mean, a um, special version either. So this is the Pumpkin Spice Life. Yep, and you know what's really good is I'm getting a whiff of this amazing cappuccino. Oh yeah, that's um, she, Melissa also sent us this. This is the kind of um, cappuccino that we normally drink, but this one is white chocolate caramel. Mm. And the sugar is actually pretty good on this. For three tablespoons, it's only 15 grams of sugar, and that sugar-free stuff mixes not that great. This stuff mixes amazing, and it smells so good. So this one, guys, for sure, turn on your smell of this. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it smells so good. It's white chocolate caramel, and you can smell both. You can smell the white chocolate and the caramel. It's a little bit hot to taste test for you yet. Okay, so we'll do that in We're a second. We're gonna do the cereal. Let's do it. You still got the shakes. Yep. Let's do this one. What the? You have to wiggle. You haven't even had any caffeine or sugar yet. Just water. You're doing good. Hey, look at that. Whoa, you get big flakes. They're big. Nice. Oh, it smells like pumpkin pie. Wanna yeah. smell? Mmm, that is a nice pumpkin spice. Wow, look at these size of these. You want to try one dry first? Yeah, here you get one. Thanks, I'll try to show the friends. So yeah, pretty cool. Mmm. Mmm. Oh god. Mm. You get all of the flavors it says. It really tastes like a pumpkin pie flavor. That's um a nice, mm. like a nice... A little spice addition to like special K, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. A little bit of that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of life in there when I mix the milk in. Me too. So let's try the life. Okay, so there's the life and it has like little crystals mm. on it. I don't smell any mm. on that one. Mmm. You know, it tastes like cinnamon hearts. Like I get much, I get a lot of cinnamon in that. Ver well, mm. a little bit of pumpkin spice, yes. but. Cinnamon. Mm. That's really good. At Those first good. it's plain, and then the aftertaste is really good. I, re I, you know what? I think I like the flavor on the life. Like they went for it with the pumpkin spice a little more than the special K. I think I like the life a little bit better. I like the texture of the special K, and I like the flavor, but I like this one too. Yeah. Well, this flavor is stronger. They're both good, but... But the Special K tastes like pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. So they got the flavor more than the Life did, but I like them both. I don't know. I think the Life... I think I like the Life flavor a bit better. Mmm. But they're both good. We like anything pumpkin spice. You guys know us. We're in. Mm. We're all in with the pumpkin spice. Yeah, the Life is really good. The more you eat it, the more that there is a pumpkin flavor. Now, guys, you know what time it is? the milk test. Okay. Uh-oh, how do you eat cereal with no spoons? <laughs> Better be back. Yeah, you should have got those spoons downstairs. Oh, that's sad. Hey, anybody ever do this one? Except it don't stick today. 
I almost went downstairs, but we're spoonless down you, there. You can't go to that, that joke too often, you know what I mean? That's like a once in a lifetime joke. Uh, no, the friends like that joke, right? Friends, you <laughs> like the stairs? I liked it too. You do. Okay, you, you just tell can't, me. You can't go to the well too often. Tell me about your milk. How Perfect. About, good. Tell me about your milk. Da -na -na -na, like that. Okay. Okay. Let's dig in. You want, I can uh, help ya. I'm a, I'm a multitasker. Mm, look at this big bite. Oh. <laughs> mm. Hey, there's little crunch mm -hmm. nuggets in the special K. Mm. I'll show the friends. Oh, that's good in milk. Some little nuggets there. Oh, it did say crunch clusters. Yeah, crunch berries. Mmm, this is really good. Mmm. Both of these cereals, it's funny, some don't and some do. They, these both benefit from milk. Mm-hmm. Mmm. But I like them dry, too. Thanks, Melissa. These cereals are delicious. Oh, yeah, we're loving this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's another um, crunch nugget. I'm gonna steal one from your bowl because I didn't get any. Those I like, oh yeah, with milk. Oh. They're better with milk. I expected those to be crunchy, but they're not. They're soft. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, those have a lot of flavor. They're soft berries. Wow, guys, you definitely need to try these cereals. Both of them actually surprised me. Mm-hmm. How flavorful I enjoy they are. both. Mmm. Mmm. You could eat a full bowl of either, either of those, no problem. They're delicious. Now. You think it's ready? It will be ready, Ca I think. Cappuccino time. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. It's got both flavors in there. I'm still getting the pumpkin spice from the cereal. I'm liking Oh, that's a good flavor. I like that a lot. Okay, guys. Cheers. Well, you get the caramel flavor after. Dude. Wow, I, I really like that. Mm, that. That is a great That's pairing. nice. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Melissa. We're going to enjoy that on cheat day mornings. Oh, it's great. Thank mm. you so much. Mm, that does make me want to dance. <laughs> I am enjoying every sip of this. It is really good. The more you drink it, the mm. more the flavor comes across. It's so nice. We were just saying it's so nice to try new stuff because in Canada, we're so limited. Like, our grocery stores basically serve, you know, Canadians, like, kind of are scared, I think, a lot of times. A lot of people buy the same things over and over again, so it limits our choice. When we see something new in the grocery store, we're on it. Like, we try it. We want to try to support that, and it's so nice. Like, we have a subscriber like Melissa that sent us this stuff. It's, it's awesome to try. So, now it's fill up the bowl time. Oh, yep. We mix those two pumpkin spicers in this bin here. And now, we're going to go on, I think this has Captain Crunch, uh, Cheerios. Let, let's give the friends a little peek. Yes, I think it's Captain Crunch. Oh, there's some Crave. Crave, <laughs> Crave is delicious. Crave. When I think Crave is one of my favorites. No, Frankenberry and... Oh, look at that. This is a beautiful art. Then Colors. this next one has Look at Frosted this, boys. Flakes. Oh, the Reese's. Count Chocula, Reese's. It's the chocolate Frosted Flake bin. That should fill me up for a few minutes. That <laughs> looks beautiful. Okay, I'm ready for the milk. Now it's milk time. This is, give me milk. We're thirsty. Milk. Milk. There it goes. Mmm, that looks yummy. I now have a delicious bite. Twist my arm, buddy. See, when you're... Oh, that's a good bite. You gotta hold that uh, baby up there. Oh, look at that, friends. Don't you want to eat that? When you have when you have mixing cereal parties, you get the best of all worlds in each bite. How's that? Mmm. 
so good. You get this way it's like not all fruity, but you get a little bit of fruit in each bite and a little bit of chocolate. And a little bit of everything good in life. It's just a bowl of good. Mm. Goodness. <laughs> Oh yeah, but not as good as mine. It can't. I tried. It can't be. I tried. My rhythm is just too bad. <laughs> I couldn't decide, so I said, "Self, have both." There you go. Yep. I've seen snowballs in movies, and television, and TV commercials what? my whole life, and I think the regular versions are actually pink. I've never yeah. seen them and we've never had them in Canada as far as I know. We have them today. Time to fool my friends. But Baba is gonna do it, is gonna try it for us. I think this is childproof. <laughs> Snowball, what are you? Oh, the struggle! The struggle is real, friends. Thanks, Hank. Oh, cool. Thanks, Hank, for licking water in the camera yep. when it's on. Cool. Hey, those are cool. So, coconut and chocolate, two of our favorite things. And marshmallow, right? Right, a little bit of marshmallow. Oh, yeah, buddy. Let's take a really good look as you unbox it, unbag okay, uh, it. Let me take it out of the wrap. Don't, don't lick the wrapper. Undo the wrappage. Ooh. That's fancy. You, you gotta smell this, and I think you're gonna be in love. Oh, coconut smells so, so it's good. It's really like it's soft and mo it mm. feels really moist. I'm gonna go for I it. I bet. Guys. Take a gigantic bite. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Show the friends your bite. Whoa, that's cool on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. It's, it's good? Really good. Like a really good chocolate donut. You get actually a lot of marshmallow, which I didn't think would be. This whole outer layer is all like really good marshmallow. Oh. Cream, coconut on the top. Oh, this is delicious. I might try one of those later. Mmm. That's a two biter. Mm. Oh, it looks delicious and it smells good. Oh yeah, snowballs are good. Mmm, what are you gonna try for us next? I wonder if the regular snowballs are the same flavor. Yeah, if you guys have tried snowballs. Like the pink ones, I think you've seen the pink ones before like on TV, right? Yeah, I, so maybe you guys can clarify that for us. Yeah, would these be the same flavors? Like this is coconut chocolate. Are they, is it the same? And is the pink one the same flavor? Is it just colored pink or? Yeah, and is the regular one pink? Uh, we're pretty sure it's pink. Yeah. But so now it's on to something that me and Nicole both have been thinking about since we found out they existed is watermelon pop tarts. And again, thank you to Melissa for both of these treats. Do not microwave in this pouch. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad morning. they told us because nobody knows about not microwaving things in foil. Yeah. Good now, they warned us. We're not going to be heating anything because we're not toaster friends. No. We're not microwave friends either. We're out of the package friends. Does it smell like warm um, There's not. There's not really a very strong smell actually. The corner broke off, but you can still see the. Oh, top. they're quite beautiful, aren't they? Really nice, yeah. Cool coloring on the top. This is the rind. The green part is the <laughs> rind. <laughs> Except it's on top. Okay, ready, friends? Gonna break it open. Oh yeah, you oh. got your your filling there. Good pink filling. Yeah, there's no real distinct smell. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Right away I get that Jolly Rancher watermelon. Oh you know yeah? That candy taste? Yeah. Mmm. 
That's very unique for a pop tart. I like it though. How would you rate that out of 10? Hmm. Well, it's so different from, I've never had a pop tart taste like this. There's that candy sweet watermelon taste, but then a little, um, like a citrus kind of, oh. kind of tang at the end. Hmm. I like them. Um, it's hard to rate, uh, I'm gonna go with like a solid seven out of ten. That's pretty good. They're it's it's so cool because like when you're used to the normal, the basic Pop Tart flavors, they kinda blend together sometimes. Mm-hmm. This is totally different. Huh. Might have to try one of those later. Hmm. Interesting. I like that. The icing's really good, the filling's good. But definitely if you like watermelon, if you like that real fake like watermelon candy sweet taste, you'll like these. Mm. Oh. Whoa. That's cool to have those to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are both so cool. Definitely I've never tasted anything like either of these. Really, really unique and really cool for us to be able to get to try these. So yeah, thank you so much. These were awesome. We love trying new stuff and definitely I have never tasted anything like these in my life. Really, um, like these are way more marshmallowy than I had thought. They both tasted different, way different than I had imagined in my dreams. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa, for these snackable Twinkies. Look at that, white peppermint Twinkies. And wow. watch this, it says, White fudge covered sponge cake with creamy peppermint filling. Oh yeah, we get one kind of Twinkie in Canada. Normal. Normal Twinkie. Oh my, it's Twinkie time. So this time. is gonna be a nice treat. Okay, Twinkie bears. Hey, look at, our Twinkies come in clear packages. Whoa, look at this. Hostess. I can't smell it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful work of art. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I like that mm. red sprinkles. Want to smell it? Yes. It smells like Twinkie goodness. Mmm. Okay, friends, let's break him open. Oh, he broke here. Whoa! Mm. Nice filling action there. How is it? <laughs> you like oh my god you didn't you have to have a bite okay there's no words twist my arm oh my god twinkies are good and then you put white fudge on them oh my god this is the best thing i ever ate in my whole life mm. it rem it tastes like christmas <laughs> it tastes mm. like Christmas. It does. Mm. Friends, try these if you get them where you're at. Because they are good. Oh my god, I could eat a whole box of those. Mmm. That, I love Twinkies. That is the most moist, flavorful Twinkie I've ever had in my you life. You know that white chocolate coating on the outside? I think it keeps it more fresh. That made like a major difference that is seriously the best twinkie i've ever had in my life me too because you know why we've only had one kind just the plain old normal oh twinkies oh my god i'm eating another one of these mm, i might eat something else. oh my god <laughs> these are good the struggle of no i gotta wait yeah. i gotta eat something else later you have to choose carefully oh. my son oh my gosh you i'm know, glad that you get nine of these you only have so much belly i'm not sharing these <laughs> they're mine. You already did share it, oh, bud. They're so good. <laughs> Your turn to try that watermelon pop tart. It does kind of smell like an odd watermelon, like a candy watermelon. An odd watermelon. Hmm. Let's try it out. Hey, well. Matt. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. It does taste like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. You get that real candy watermelon taste. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing, though, that no. fake watermelon. It's, it's actually ta it works mm. well with the Pop-Tart. You know, I wasn't sure how that would go. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would go with, like what you said, a seven. Yeah. Mm. We're, we're friends. High five. Pop-Tart friends. Bacon. Nana bacon and lettuce and tomato. Tomato, tomato. You put the lettuce next? Oh, you can build your baconator however you like. But you do it the best. Well, of course. Well, of course, sir. But then there's, you... there's really, when you're, uh, when you're making BLTs, there's really no rules. And you salt and pepper the tomato. That's the secret step. A lot of people Correct. forget to season their tomatoes. It's very important. You need to salt and pepper them. You think that's enough? Tomatoes? I think that's beautiful. Okay, now shall we do the salt and pepper? Yep. Very important step, guys. At like home, that? Yeah. Do you guys salt and pepper your tomatoes? Is that good? Yeah, perfect. Kyle is the best uh, bacon lettuce tomato friend, so we have our mayo already on there. We have some a little bit of butter. We have white Texas toast. And now. Excuse me, my <coughs> Gotta cut through the bacon. Yep. Okay, let's take a little peek. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did a nice job there, buddy. Yummy. That's beautiful. You gotta do a toothpick like they do at the at the fancy yeah, restaurant. We're at, we're at a diner to now. keep it to keep it together. Yeah. And you make a little nice plate. Oh, <laughs> presentation. Mm. You get presentation points, buddy. And then we got something fancy. Does anybody know about Swiss chalet and oh, chalet yeah. sauce? They were only having them at the restaurant and now you can buy them at the store. Yeah, tell us if you guys have Swiss chalet. I don't know if that's a worldwide thing or yeah. just a Canadian thing. I don't know. But anyway, they're but Lay's. Chalet sauce chips I'm pretty excited That's for. Like, oh, they smell like chalet sauce. Oh, yep. They got that. So it's like, um, if you guys don't know, Swiss Chalet has their in-house gravy, and that's what these chips are supposed to taste like. So I'm going to put some of those on the plate, and you want me to have a bite for you? Here. Sure. Here go. That meant give them a chip. Oh, my. Mmm. You get that sweet, the mm. sweetness right at the end, just like the uh, gravy. Or sorry, the chalet sauce. I'm buying all the chips on the shelf. That's good. Mmm. Chalet. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Chalet sauce. And we also have plain chips. Yep. And some dip. Wow. French those chips. I, I gotta grab those another one of those. Those are so good. I gotta get in there. I am gonna take some plain. Wow, I can't believe how good those are. They are really, really tasty. They are delicious. Okay, I'm gonna do a mixture, my friends, and then I'll put a little dip. Come mm. on, dip. And we got hell of a, what's it called? Hell of a good French. Hell of a good dip French onion. French onion, yep. There you are, friends. Yep. Okay. So then, you, this is how you get your dip. You take a, a chip and you do this big scooper. Oh. Like that. And then you just do this. And then you got dip. See what that is? That's a pro tip. <laughs> mm. Lunch. Yep. Ice cream time. Dessert time. These were on sale this week for $3.99. So we got two of them. Chocolate caramel cup. Mm. Sorry, that is our dog playing with his toys. Um, chocolate peanut butter cup. So we've had this one before and it is so good. Yeah. But we haven't had this one before. So, let's take a bite. Whoa, looks nice and smooth. Chocolate caramel cup. Whoa. I don't see any uh, caramel cups in there yet. No but... cup action yet. Mmm. Good? Mmm. -hmm. Have a little bite. Mmm, <laughs> it's like caramel. I'm glad we got both chocolate. of Chocolate, oh that's good. Mm. 
Mm. That's mm. nice. It's almost like a mocha. Is there mocha in that? Or just chocolate it, caramel? It's chocolate caramel, but it does taste a bit like mocha. And then this is the peanut butter cup. Oh, yeah. And it's delicious, boys and yeah. girls. We know what that one tastes like. Good. Mm. So, you said you're having a comb? I am. Hey, husband, have a cup. <laughs> peanut butter cup. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a comb. So, I believe... Waffle cone. Yep. These... Mm. I, I like to get dig through the bag until I find one of my approval. Yep. I think I'm going to fill the bottom with the caramel. Hey, did we ever teach your friends about how you make the cone? I think I may have, but this is what I do, friends. First, I scoop it in, and then I use the end of the spoon to get it all in the very, very bottom. That way you have ice cream through every little bit of your cone. And yes, your hand gets a little sticky. <laughs> but it's worth it though when you get it packed tight because every last bite has uh, ice cream. It is worth it. You don't get stingy on ice cream, no. friends. That's what you do. So now I'm going to top it with the peanut butter oh, cup. Oh, now you're talking. There we go. Whoa, get, look at this peanut butter cup. Now there's some action. Okay. Got to get another scoop. Make it. This is this is for, for the master ice cream scooper. That extra scoop is free, by the way. You don't you don't have to pay for that. One, one. two, three. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll let you slide with that extra scoop. Mm. Lick the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice cone you make. I think I made a mess. Oh, and I had to change because I got my dress dirty. Yep. And I have no idea how. And I was sad because I like that dress. But this one's okay too. But I think I might just got that dirty too. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Nope. Mm. So, I'm having a bowl of ice cream. But I thought a good topper would be some s'mores M&M's. Which we've never had before. And we got from um, a subscriber in the box. Yes, courtesy of Melissa. Yes, and we're so excited to try these. Well, I'm gonna eat one of those right now. Okay. Oh, while Kyle opens that, let me show you because I just made my cone. So how do you ask, am I holding the camera? Because I found a nifty cone holder. My water jug, thank you oh, very wow. much. Oh, look at the colors. Oh. That's cool. He didn't uh, sell the friends on how cool my creation was. Sorry, I was I was I was mesmerized by all the colors. Mmm. They're they're crispy. Mm. They're the crispy ones. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Okay. Wow. I like those a lot. Some of those are going in there. Good. You don't necessarily get like a, well, yeah, I guess you do kind of get a s'more flavor, don't you? A little bit. Yeah, like not, not crazy. But. Oh, let's get some ice cream bowl action. Wow, I love those s'more. Yep, yeah, they're good. Okay, now. And let's take a little peek over here at our bowl. Yeah, there's a <laughs> snack bowl. Our leftover. Oh, <laughs> we put lots of leftovers um in that bowl. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like I like. I think I might just stick with the s'mores. Let's see how this tastes. So look at that. Look at that bite. Oh, that is a beautiful bite. I mean, more of those M and M's. I like mm. those a lot. Mmm. Mm. That crispy M and M is good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. We're geniuses. So here we only get peanut butter, M&M's, peanut, plain, and pretzel, I believe. What is your favorite M&M, friends? Yeah. And do you make your own ice cream creations? And what do you smash in your ice cream? Yeah. And do you like my water jug cone holder yes or no mm -hmm. <laughs>
dinner time. And it's the best dinner anyone can ever have. We're craving pizza. So we got double double pizza and potato wedges. And look at this baby. <gasps> mm. Yes. It's double cheese, bacon, pineapple, and spicy sausage. Oh, wow. We haven't had this combination before, so it's going to be delicious. Yeah, we, we said to each other today, we said, hey, let, we we're both feeling pizza, but let's go with different toppings. Yeah, because last time we had pizza too, but we didn't get these. And let's show you the wedges. Oh, yeah, we got spicy wedges too. Okay, so look at these beautiful. Double Double is mm -hmm. famous for their wedges, and oh, man, they're amazing. So let's take a bite of the beautiful wedge for you first. And they gave, they always give you some good creamy garlic dipping sauce if you're into that kind of stuff. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> good? Mm-hmm. Their wedges are so good. The spice on that one is very, very slight. But sometimes you get like really spicy ones and then other times... Yeah, sometimes they're like loaded. Bland. Like you can see that one there is like loaded and then other ones are more plain, but they're all good. They're so tasty. They're the best wedges ever. So first time trying this combo. So let's Spicy try. sausage, pineapple, and bacon. And the, the top, the tip, has everything. So let's take that bite. And double cheese too. You gotta get double cheese. Or else what's the point really? Mm-hmm. Mm. That is a good... That's a really good combination. We mm. chose a good combo? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't mm. wait. I'm diving in. Mm-hmm. I like that face. That's the unboxing of the dipping sauce. Oh, there face. you go. Now you guys can see it. Oh, creamy garlic it is. Yep. Goes good with some spicy wedges, I tell you. Mmm. Those wedges are so good. Makes me happy. Uh oh. Oh, are you dropping? You cannot lose toppings, guys. No. Do not let that drop. Mmm. Okay, here it goes. That's a good bite. You're a good bite of a pizza, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that combo? I think it's awesome. I think we're brilliant. You know, I'm glad you said I'm a good biter of pizza. <laughs> I always wanted to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What do you have? <laughs> Me? Pumpkin spice lint. Yep. <gasps> Smells like lint. Mmm. Let's see. So it's supposed to have like a pumpkin spice filling in the middle. Whoa. So there's one for you. Oh, thank you, my madam. Welcome, my sir. And here's one for you, Nicole. Spited. Mmm. I actually like that. You know what that's like? A chocolate. Like if you had a pumpkin cheesecake with chocolate in it. Like it's real smooth. Mm hmm. Yeah. I could see that. I don't know. It's that's like, what I get from it. It's like a normal lint. And in the filling, you get some spice. Like pumpkin spice. I actually yeah. quite like that a lot. And the Lindors, like they always make the smooth, really good yeah. chocolate. It's, it's really good. I didn't know how I would feel about That's that. That's surprising. They're really good. Like, we love pumpkin spice and we love chocolate, but mixing the two, we were like, we were kind of unsure about that. My mm. muscles failed me. I got to get the scissors, boys. Hey, well, what, are you, what are you doing here? I'm going to tell my friends in a minute that I'm opening up Caramel Apple Milky Ways. Your friends? And Well, maybe your friends, too. <clears throat> they're my friends, too. Yeah, they're your friends, too. Look! Okay. <laughs> Since we got the camera on, I'll, I'll look. It's upside down, bud. Oh, sorry. On the it's upside down to me now. Like I'll show you to prove okay, it. Okay. All right. So there. See, I thought it was. We the forgive right way. you. It's okay. 
I kind of smell a little bit of caramel appleness. And these chocolates are also courtesy of Melissa. Yep. Thank you very much. So and we here, don't get Milky Ways or any kind of Milky Ways here. We get Mars, which I think is similar to the Milky Way. Very similar. Can you smell? I can smell the caramel apple. So that's what they look like. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's you get it right away. Mmm. Caramel apple. That's a fresh take on chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. But it works because apple and chocolate go together. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And caramel and apples go together. Oh, I like those. That's a really good combination. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Tasty. Wow. I don't know. I really like Lynn. I actually think I, these would win. This one would win. They're both so but, different. It's hard to say. Yeah. Wow, those are really good. If you guys get a chance to try either, I would try both. Oh yeah, I like both of them. I really like that. I didn't know how it would be, but... Yeah, both of these were kind of like it's odd pairings like to put with chocolate, but actually when you taste it and when you think about it, it's not really. And they're really good. Both. That is delicious. Mmm, tasty. Mm. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hi. It's the end of the tea day, but I got one last little thing to show you. Before you show yours, I'll show the friends what I'm working on. Okay, this one. I'm working on some ice cream out of the carton action. Probably finish this off. Yep, it was good. I like this stuff. Peanut butter. The caramel is okay. This is better. Yeah, uh, yeah, that one's my favorite. The caramel's really, really good though. So I'm going to polish off that bad boy. What are you working on? Look at that. I was craving a hot chocolate, but I decided I didn't want a hot one. I wanted a frozen one, so I put some milk and two packets of light hot chocolate and um, some ice cubes and a scoop of that caramel ice cream in there, and I made like a frozen hot chocolate. Mind blown. It's actually pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I used to get the frozen hot chocolates at the second cup. I don't know if second cups are all over the place, but it was really, really good. This is almost close. It's pretty close. You're like a culinary warlock. Oh, it's so good. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this cheat day. I did, and I'm going to enjoy my hot chocolate now, except it's not hot. It's frozen. I enjoyed mine, too. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, and don't ever forget it. <laughs> oh my god, that voice That was, was scary. my scary voice. That was your exorcist voice. Don't forget to like and subscribe because if you don't, you know him. Hello, my name is Fist of Doom. Boom. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.